stop right there. You went through a lot of effort to arrange this meeting. But before we go any further, Not one answer my questions. Closer. Who the hell are you? Why don't you tell me who you are first? In a world full of suspicion, treachery, and hunters, we're the synths' only friends. We're the railroad. So answer my question. Put down your weapons first. Until I determine you're not a threat, we'll point our weapons wherever we damn well please. Who told you how to contact us? I helped Carl out of a jam. He knows a guy who knows a guy, and, and they hooked me up with a lead. We'll look into that. Last question. Why are you here? I found a Courser chip. Can your people decode it? You have what? This is not a joking matter. I didn't know we were having a party. What gives with my invitation? Oh, I see you invited the Courser killer. Nice. Deacon, you're late. You're saying this intruder actually killed a Courser? Single-handedly? <laughs> oh. That'd give even Gloria a run for her money. Newsflash, boss. This guy is kind of a big deal. If you're done interrogating him, you might want to show this coarser murdering machine a little courtesy. Hmm? Just a thought. I owe you an apology. Anyone who kills a coarser is good in my book. I'm Desdemona, and I'm the leader of the railroad. Hopefully, we can work something out. What you're asking for puts us in a tricky position. Des, we need to let him in. He's got an intact courser chip, for God's sake. That violates our security protocols. To hell with that. He killed a courser. There's no way he's working for the Institute. We're letting you into our headquarters. You're the first outsider ever to be given this privilege. We'll discuss the details about your chip inside. Tom, our visitor here has a Whoa! For real? Oh man, it's been ages! Right, some ground rules. Tom can get you the code, but once he's done, we get the courser chip. No way. That chip is mine. To anybody else in the Commonwealth, all you have is two caps worth of salvage. With us, that data is priceless. But we're not just going to give that away. Talk to me again if you change your mind. Hi. Made up your mind. We decode the coarser chip for you, but after that, it's ours. Deal? Fine. It's yours. All right. Tom, make it happen. All right, little coarser chip. Let's have the circuit analyzer take a crack at you. Don't try anything, stranger. <clears throat> Give Tom time. He'll get that chip. We're in. Chip accessed. Just poke the analog connectors a little. What? Oh man, don't, don't, don't crash. Hold it together. Memory hiccup. Here it comes. Encryption algorithms. All right. All right, we're still running. Oh, Hi. Man. Give Tom. They've added more decimals to the last cipher. He'll get that chip. This is gonna be. Come on, baby. Show me that pattern. Where is it? Wait. Don't try anything, strange. Oh, yeah, I got you, you institute bastard. I got you.
Hey there. Show me Give that. Tom time. He'll get that. Chip. Yeah, we got it. We got the code. Don't try anything. <laughs> Let me load that onto the hollow tape for you. Good work, Tom. Yeah, yeah, but I'm not sure our luck will hold up next time, Des. Start working on the rest of the chip. And you. I'd love to work with you more. Let me know if you're interested. But to be crystal clear, if you use that data and discover anything involving the Institute, you share it with us first. Otherwise, our relationship will be in jeopardy. You gotta be careful, man. The Institute is everywhere. can win. <laughs> There. Let's do this. No one panic. That is going to stop. <laughs> Not now. On whose authority? By the authority of Elder Arthur Maxon, Supreme Commander of the Brotherhood of Steel. Now I'll repeat my question. What are you doing here? I was hoping to track down the owners of that huge airship. Well, you found us. And since this is a military installation, this is the closest you're going to get to her. I understand. I'm ex-military myself. Really? Well, then you might just be in luck. With your experience, you might actually fit in with the Brotherhood. We're always looking to add a few more brothers and sisters to our ranks. If you think you have what it takes. I know I have what it takes. Then prove it to us. Head over to the Cambridge Police Station and look for Paladin Dance. He's in charge of our new recruits, and I'm certain he'll be glad to have an extra gun on his team. Add Victorium, civilian. And good luck.
Paladin dance. You ready to move out? Ready? Outstanding. Follow me, and try not to lag behind. So you're gonna patch me up, or what? I don't know. Your prognosis looks pretty grim. It might be more humane to just take you out back. Has jumped us. You gotta help. Excuse me. Can't remember the last time I had clean fingernails. What just happened? Hey! Get up! Get up! Fuck.
Excuse me, Paladin Dance? Listen up. We do this clean and quiet. No heroics and by the book. Understood? Understood. Outstanding. Remember, our primary target is the deep range transmitter. Stay focused and check your fire. I don't want to be hit by stray bullets. Corporations like this that put the last nail in the coffin for mankind. They exploited technology for their own gains, pocketing the cash and ignoring the damage they'd done. Look at these wrecks. It appears as though the facility's automated secure. Dance? Look at these wrecks. It appears as though the facility's automated security's already been dealt with. Paladin. Look at these wrecks. It appears as though the facility's automated security. Good. Less security to worry about. Negative. There's nothing good about it. Look at the evidence. There isn't a single spent ammunition casing or drop of blood in sight. These robots were assaulted by Institute Synths. I'll be on the lookout. Roger that. Let's move out. is a mess, but I still see a few pieces of salvage that the Brotherhood might be interested in. After we're done here, I'll have to mark this place for sweep and retrieve. Looks like a dead end. See if you can find a way to get that door open. I'm gonna reconnoiter the area. Won't be able to hack this. Can't break the... Got it. Hostile nice. sensor detected. Is someone present? Destruction of fellow sin. Paladin dance. Enough chatter. We've got a job to do. Movement detected. We may have a Sensor, 
critically damaged. Over there! Tango down! Compromised most of the facility. Remain vigilant. We've got turrets ahead. Dance. Keep moving. We'll talk later. Engine course ahead. Should be our final stop. Watch your footing. Looks like the power's out in this section. Look at this place. Scribes would have a field day in here. The transmitter should be in the control room at the top of the core. But it looks like the elevators are dead. We'll have to keep heading down for now and find a way to get the facility's power back online. Power backup system somewhere. Scout the maintenance area off the main chamber. I'll remain here to watch our backs. Nice. Engine core power restored. Thermal engine fueled, primed, and standing by for your command. Command accepted. Commencing five second countdown. Five. Termination is inevitable. Offline. Four. Three. Two. Do something. Anything. One. Engine firing. Test firing completed with an efficiency rating of 96.7%. Oh my god, are you all right? Got cooked by those flames. But thanks to my power armor, I'm still in one piece. The important thing is that we're still alive. We have a way to get to the transmitter. Let's go. That minigun in front of you is loaded and ready to fire. If you spot anything hostile during the flight, I suggest you put it to good use. Make sure you properly identify your targets before you start shooting. We don't want to have any mishaps and fire on the local. The Commonwealth looks different from up here, doesn't it? 
It never ceases to amaze me how drastically your perception of the battlefield changes from the air. We're gonna need that edge when we take on the Institute. They've already proven that they're technologically superior, which means there's no telling what types of weapons they'll have in their arsenal. Hopefully, our air superiority and tactical know-how will make the difference. Now all we have to do is find them. And I'm betting that Elder Maxon will have a plan already in place by the time we arrive. I wish everyone nation. They don't realize that the Brotherhood of Steel is the Commonwealth's last hope for survival. Every man, woman, and child below is in mortal danger. If we fail, it's only a matter of time before the enemy overwhelms the population. Cleansing the Commonwealth is our duty, and I will gladly spill my own blood if it ensures our victory. on final approach to the airport. The Pridwin should be coming into view just ahead. We'll be meeting Lancer Captain Kells on the flight deck. Just stick close to me and answer all of his questions. Far too long since I've been aboard. All right, soldier. This is the moment when everything changes. I hope you're ready. Paladin Dance. There's Lancer Captain Kells. Follow me. Permission to come aboard, sir? Permission granted. And welcome back, Paladin. Allow me to be the first to congratulate you on a successful mission. And is this our new recruit? Yes, sir. I feel promoted him to initiate, and I'd like to sponsor his entry into our rankings personally. Yes, we've read your reports. You'll be pleased to know that Elder Maxon's approved your request and placed the recruit in your charge. Thank you, sir. And my current orders? You are to remain on the Pridwin and await further instructions. Very good, sir. Ad Victorium, Captain. Ad Victorium, Paladin. Paladin. I have some reports to file, and you have a debriefing to attend. We'll talk later. I can't talk to you right now. Maxon is preparing to address the crew. Sir. Your orders were to speak to Lancer Captain Kells. I suggest you follow them to the letter. 
Your orders were to speak to Lancer Captain Kells. I suggest you follow them to the letter. Status report. Green across the board, sir. Nothing new. Good. Carry on, then. If Dom and Ugly had a child, it'd be a superhero. So how did it look out there? We've got a lot of work ahead of us, brother. Since are the worst. They hide in plain sight. So, you're the one Paladin Dance has taken under his wing. <laughs> Looks can be deceiving. Which is precise. I've read Paladin Dance's. Sure. You might expect it. The Brotherhood of Steel is as the captain of this band. Right. Understood? Absolutely. Good. That's all for now, soldier. Your orders are to proceed to the command deck for the address. After which, Elder Maxon wishes to have a word with you. If you have any questions, ask me now. Otherwise, you're dismissed. I don't have any questions. Then I suggest you head over to the command deck immediately. Dismissed, Initiate. Brothers and sisters, the road behind has been long and fraught with difficulty. Each and every one of you has surpassed my expectations by rapidly facilitating our arrival in the Commonwealth. You have accomplished this amazing feat without a hint of purpose or direction, and most impressively, without question. Now that the ship is in position, it is time to reveal our purpose and our myth beneath the Commonwealth. There is a cancer, known as the Institute. A malignant growth that needs to be cut before it infects the surface. They are experimenting with dangerous technologies that could prove to be the world's undoing for the second time in recent history. The Institute scientists have created a weapon that transcends the destructive nature of the atom bomb. They call their creation the Sin, a robotic abomination of technology that is free-thinking and masquerades as a human being. This notion that a machine could be granted free will is not only offensive, but horribly dangerous. And like the atom, if it isn't harnessed properly, it has the potential of rendering us extinct as a species. I am not prepared to allow the Institute to continue this line of experimentation. Therefore, the Institute and their sins are considered enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel and should be dealt with swiftly and mercilessly. This campaign will be costly, and many lives will be lost. But in the end, we will be saving humankind from its worst enemy, itself. Ad victorium. Ad victorium. Ad victorium. If it was up to me, I take every feral, muty, and synth and shoot them into space. I care about them, you know. The people of the Commonwealth. If you say so. I can understand your indecisiveness. Turning your weapons on the very same people that you're trying to save can be a bitter pill to swallow. Don't worry. I'm convinced. Paladin Dance's reports were quite clear regarding your feelings toward the Brotherhood. And he concludes that you'd be an asset to us. Seeing as he's one of my most respected field officers, you couldn't get a better recommendation. Therefore, from this moment forward, 
I'm granting you the rank of knight. And, befitting your title, we're granting you a suit of power armor to protect you on the field of battle. Wear it with pride. I'll do my best to live up to it. I'm certain that you will. In any event, once you're finished becoming familiar with the Pridwin and my staff, report to the flight deck for your new orders. Welcome aboard the Pridwin, soldier. Make us proud. Elder Maxim, I have a set of plans to build a signal interceptor to get me inside the Institute. An intriguing proposal that I'll have to seriously consider. However, before I allow any of my soldiers to breach the Institute. Careful preparations need to be made. In the meantime, I need you to follow my orders and remain patient. Why wait when we have a way inside right now? I appreciate your enthusiasm, but I need you to view this from my perspective. I'm not willing to risk the lives of my soldiers based solely on a set of crudely drawn plans. Give us time to validate the information you've discovered. Then when the time is right, I promise you, I'll do everything in my power to construct that device. You're dismissed, Knight. I'm trying to minimize reactor jitter. Adjusting internal ballonet pressure. Green lights across the board. Paladin Dance. There you are. How did it go with Elder Max? He sounds pretty delusional to me. You don't actually buy everything he's saying, do you? You shouldn't judge Maxon on his words alone. His actions prove his sincerity. I just hope you appreciate how much of a chance I'm taking bringing you into the fold this quickly. Not to put too fine a point on it, but if you screw up, we go down together. I won't let you down, Dance. I promise. Good. Now, I know you're eager to hop into a suit of power armor and take the fight to the Institute. But first things first. In order to be an effective part of the team, you need to learn your way around this ship and get to know its crew. Since I've been officially assigned to you as your sponsor, I'd recommend taking me along with you. I'll go it alone for now, and come find you when I'm ready. Suit yourself. I'll be in the mess hall if you need me. Congratulations on the promotion, Knight. I had to get drunk, and it was a dare, and ugh. That hardly qualifies, so I'll just put no. Last question. Would you have any problems pulling the trigger on an enemy of the Brotherhood, whether they're human, formerly human, or machine? Nope. No problem whatsoever. Excellent. You'll fit in quite well around here. Excellent. I think I've got all the information I need. I see no reason to prevent you from beginning your duties immediately. If you ever need medical assistance, you let me know. If you're looking for ammunition or weapons, Dr. Tegan might have what you need.
Tighten up the meter. Like that? Now I'll split the difference. Now that you've familiarized yourself with the Pridwin's crew, are you ready for your next assignment, brother? Just point me to the action. I applaud your enthusiasm, Knight. Let's get right to it, then. Shall we? Take a look over there. That's Fort Strong. And it's infested with super mutants. Having those aberrations of nature close enough to smell is making me sick to my stomach. To make matters worse, they're sitting on top of a massive stockpile of fat man shells we could use in our campaign. I want you to head over there, wipe out everything that moves, and secure that stockpile. Understood? Consider it done. Look, I realize you're eager to take the fight to the Institute, but it'll have to wait. The Brotherhood cannot allow those abominations to have a nuclear arsenal at their fingertips. Now, we have a vertebrate on standby, fully armed and ready to depart. Use it to carry our message to Fort Strong and wipe those dirty mutants from the face of the earth. Dismissed. If it looks dead, put one more in its head for good measure. Why take the chance? Remember your three C's. Cranium.
That's it.
Let's play, little human! <laughs> Dance? Look at this place. You must hate these mutants as much as I do. Why do you hate super mutants so much? They're responsible for the death of a close friend, a Brotherhood Knight named Cutler. So when you ask if I hate them, I say hate's too gentle a word. These monstrosities are just another example of man blindly taking a step forward, only to wind up stumbling two steps back. I've been fighting for years, trying to put a stop to this madness. And just when I thought we were getting the upper hand, along come the synths. I've seen what these super mutants do to people. Can you imagine what the synths would do to us if they ever got the upper hand? It would be Armageddon repeated, and maybe the end of everything that we hold dear. <sighs> Look, I don't mean to bore you with my rhetoric. I just want you to understand how important these missions are. Don't apologize. It reminds me why I'm doing this. Thank you, brother. It's good to know you're taking my advice to heart. Anyway, that's enough of that. What's important here is that you got the job done and secured these warheads. You should head back up to the Pridwin and talk to Maxon. I'm sure he'll want to debrief you as soon as possible. Dismissed. <laughs>